Sabah hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about making your life a little easier when you have a big display. I'm talking 6 inches, 6.5 inches, almost 7 inch displays. Uh, this application is going to enable you to use it in a one-handed mode to help you just have a better experience and you don't have to always do that finger gymnastics to reach all the way to the top of the display. This is TK. Let's check it out. What I have in front of me here is two devices that are considered to be big. A 6.4 inch display LG V40 ThinQ and a 6.93 inch display. Uh, this is the Honor Note 10, a very big phone, a very nice big phone. Uh, I've done videos on both of them, of course, on the channel. Make sure to check out the description below. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to share with you guys is the ability basically when you're using your phone is that reachability factor. On the V40, for me to reach all the way to the top, I actually have to kind of let loose my grip and go all the way to the top. Uh, now, it's not a problem, it, with the exception is that I'm jeopardizing or I'm getting myself into a position where my phone could drop and I can break the device and damage it. Same thing here with the Note 10. Uh, this device is massive, uh, I can barely reach to the side, all, let alone all the way to the top, and that's something that could be said. And this makes it basically a two-handed phone, uh, so that's pretty much what it is. Uh, the app I'm going to talk to you guys about today is called Reachability Cursor. The version that I have installed on both these devices is the light version. Now they do have a pro version that requires additional fee, but the short answer is once you install it and give it the permission that it needs, uh, you're pretty much going to be greeted with a functional mouse cursor. That's for all intents and purposes. It starts on the left side and start, or it starts on the right side. You can initiate it from both ends. You can set up the uh, pads. So here you can see where they are, the thickness, the position. You can activate them or deactivate them. All of this is in the free one. If you do decide to go into, say, into the pro version, it gives you the ability of doing a few more additional things, but namely double tapping as well as press and hold so that you can actually drag things that are sitting at the top part of your screen. Last but not least, there is an experimental mode that requires you to use ADB. It's not needed, but if you want to check it out, it's definitely there. And if you know how to use ADB, definitely thumbs up for you there. About just gives you access to the information. Again, the reachability cursor 1.0. And other than that, once you install it and give it the permission, this honestly just basically changes the experience on the phone. I don't have to worry about reaching all the way to the top uh, here. I'm looking at the uh, basically the store. I can go into games. I can go home, movies, TV, st uh, top selling releases. You know, I'm not having to reach. This is one hand. Everything is done correctly. And the moment I click away from it, it works and it just goes away. And the same thing with the stories at the top. We have all of our buttons at the bottom, but the reality is there's still things at the top that I need to reach with my hand. So if I want to be able to go to search, it's right there. I can actually go in, I'll bring the cursor and I can start typing and it goes, it goes away. Yes, I can type with two hands or of course, if you have a microphone or speech to text, then it works perfectly fine for you. Similarly here with the uh, Note 10, it makes it easier for me to reach and use things on it and basically just change things on the device. It's not going to make this a one handed 100% because for the most part, this phone is not just too tall, but it's also very wide. It's really meant to be used this way. Um, and I think that really gives it a better user experience. I can go in there, go to chart, go to category here. And then when I'm done, go home. The app goes away and it works very nicely. Very simple application and it works really good. If you have built in gestures into your UI, let's say your custom launcher, like a way I have it here with Nova, uh, it just amplifies the functionalities on your display. I can actually expand my notification panel, do whatever I want whenever I'm on the home screen. But whenever I'm in an application and I want to reach all the way to the top, I no longer have that issue. And as I showed you guys, even with the Note 10, it does work. It's not as functional on the Note 10, mostly because the phone is actually wider than normal as well as taller than normal. So you're getting a form factor issue. But at 6.4, 6.5 inch display, even on the Note 9, this works very well. As you saw with the V40, they're pretty close in size. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. Actually, it's a very nice application and I felt like I should just share this with you guys. And I felt like that just augments the experience on your phone and it should make it a little bit more enjoyable. Now that we're getting bigger and bigger displays this year, you know, six inches and above is not unusual anymore. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. Share this video with anybody that you think could use or could benefit from having reachability uh, simplified on their device, especially with devices that are bigger than six inch displays. This is TK. I'll see you guys in the next video.